Nos encontramos con Walter Bayer, eh, que es coordinador político de la Fundación Transfor en la celebración, en la segunda jornada del Foro de Marsella. ¿Nos puedes valorar la realización, cómo ves la realización de este foro? I think it's an important moment for the left in Europe, not only for the European left party, but the left in Europe in general. The effort is to unite the very diverse spectrum of left parties and left movements in Europe. And I truly believe that this is a decisive moment to do so in order to challenge both the authoritarian neoliberal politics of the European Union and the governments of the member states, as well as uh, the far right, the nationalist right, which is soaring uh, in many European countries. Eh, la siguiente pregunta es, ¿hay alternativa al neoliberalismo en Europa y en el mundo? I think there are many alternatives. Actually, we must replace Tina. There is no alternative. Through Tama, there are many alternatives. I believe that the weakness uh, of the left and progressive forces in Europe has to do with the fact that there is no political unity amongst them, there is no common strategy, there are no common goals set out, and this must change, and this we can change through dialogue, through mutual respect, and through a good appreciation of the diversity which exists amongst us. ¿Qué papel puede jugar Transfor en este proceso de nacimiento del Foro de Marsella y posteriormente? Uh, Transform is a network of 31 research organizations and think tanks in 21 European countries and the main field of our activity is research. I think Transform must assume the role of uh, delivering a well done analysis of the European capitalism and uh, develop strategic proposals, maybe alternatives for the strategy of the left. And uh, in doing so, we try to put together all ideas. We are not an organization which uh, says dogmatically this and this is the right way. What we try to do is gather the people, compare their ideas, and try to draw common conclusions. I think that is important. Renewing the left in Europe requires also applying new thinking to new problems. And that is, so to say, the field in which Transform is active. Díganos, ¿cómo ve la actual situación política y social en Europa? I must confess that throughout my political life I never experienced a crisis which is as deep as the present one. I mean, people say, well, the economy, the economies are growing again, but everybody understands that this is a very modest and at the same time fragile growth and the next crisis is looming. But even more worrisome than uh, the economic situation is the political situation. The crisis in Catalonia, the Brexit, the growing of nationalism in all corners of the European Union, all this show that uh, the government and the European institutions have lost the confidence of the people. And in such a moral and political crisis, this is also the moment in which any sort of populism and irrationalism comes out and this um, contains huge dangers for the future of the European people and even for the uh, maintenance of peace and, uh, and security in, in Europe and this in a time in which Europe has to tackle huge challenges the advent of refugees, um, the climate uh, change this would demand a coherent European policy, but that must be based on a new class, a new governing class, and as well uh, on political forces which take up these challenges in a productive and progressive way. Y por último, 
¿Qué se puede hacer para contrarrestar la ofensiva neoliberal? Y si la unidad que pretende eh, de las fuerzas políticas, sociales y sindicales del Foro Social puede servir para ello. Well, I mean that's a huge question, and, and the easy answer is um, we must strengthen our unity. We must take on the streets. Uh, we must uh, conquer um, uh, democratic spaces. But uh, I believe that there is a key element, and the key element is that the social forces and the political forces must come together. The question is, can we create um, a new balance of power? Can we create um, a change on the level of the institutions which reflects the hopes and aspirations of the European population? So it's the old question, what to do? in the sense of how we, how we can reconquer and reappropriate politics. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you.